Hello and welcome to the Ellen Made Book Club. Today I'm gonna do the international booktuber tag. Um, I was tagged to do this weeks and weeks and weeks ago <laughs> by Brindis at Brindis Reads A Lot. Um, and I did film this. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the train. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yes, I was tagged to do this. <laughs> I was tagged to do this by Brindis at Brindis Reads A Lot um, weeks and weeks ago and I did film it once um, but it was just, I, it didn't turn out well so <laughs> I'm redoing it today and trying to catch up on some of these tags. So this tag was originally created by Daniela at Only If For A Page um, and then it was sort of revived by Marcella at Marcella and her books, um, who I think tagged Brindis or I don't know, but that's how I found her channel, which I highly recommend. Um, so let's see, let's just get started with the questions. Question number one, where are you from and what is your native language or languages? I'm from Sweden and my native language is Swedish. Number two, in what languages do you read books? I mostly read books in English, um, and I have done for a very long time. Um, I think it started with the Harry Potter books. I read those in English, like when I was about 12. And then I just I just enjoy reading books in English. Um, I think it's a great way to like keep your language skills <laughs> fresh. And I learn a lot of new words and, you know, expressions and how you would put things like how you would yeah put things and I also think that things sound better in English sometimes or I'm not as distracted if something sounds a bit off like if something is written in Swedish it's just I'm just more, much more sensitive to bad writing I guess or if something is put a little bit weird I don't think I would notice as much in English as I would in Swedish there's also a lot more books written in English as the original language than there are in Swedish. Um, there are a lot of books in Swedish as well, obviously, and a lot of good authors, but there's just a lot more to choose from in English, and I could read the Swedish translation of those books, but I might as well read them in English. Number three, is there a booktube in your native language, and if so, what is the community like? I think there is a Swedish booktube community, but I, it's not something that I've watched, so I can't really speak to what it's like. <laughs> Question number four. If there is a booktube community in your native language, why did you decide to join the international one? It never really occurred to me to do this in Swedish. I started watching booktube in English and I just wanted to be a part of that community or like I wanted to be able to connect with people all over the world. Sweden is a very small country in the you know big scheme of things <laughs> and so there's just um, a higher probability I guess to find readers and people that you connect with if you join the international community. I also enjoy getting the perspectives of people from different places. I just feel like I would be missing out on a lot if I did it in Swedish um, because that's very like exclusive, like most people on earth do not speak Swedish, <laughs> whereas most people speak English, um, including people from Sweden. So if there is someone in Sweden who wants to watch my videos, I think they probably could, because most people in Sweden speak English just fine. Um, so yeah, it just feels more inclusive and it's easier to connect with people from wherever. I also think I feel a little bit more anonymous um, <laughs> internationally in like a weird sense um, like I have no intention of becoming famous and I don't think I would become famous in Sweden just because I did this in Swedish either but it's kind of like being in a big city versus being in a small village like in a village everybody knows who's who and if you're like in New York you're a lot more anonymous and I think it's the same thing for me with booktube like I would rather be a small fish in a very big pond <laughs> than be a little fish in a very small pond, you know? Question number five. 
Are there any struggles or challenges for you as a non-native English speaker? Yes, absolutely. Um, there are a lot of words that don't come as naturally to me as they would for a native speaker. Yeah, so sometimes I struggle to find the word that I want to say to describe, you know, a book that I've read or just, you know, something that's happened or, you know, it just takes a little bit longer to think of what to say. <laughs> like in that book haul video I did and I was just, every single book was just like, interesting, 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 interesting. <laughs> and so I don't really have that wide vocabulary that a native speaker would have. Um, I mean, I could think of more words, but they just, they don't come as naturally to me. So that's just a bit of extra effort and also like the actual speaking of things, like the articulation, it's, it's just extra work for someone who isn't a native speaker. And then there's also all the like terminology about books and literature and, you know, ways to describe writing if it's lyrical or flat or I don't even know. <laughs> like there are so many words in the world of literature, like how to talk about it. I'm not really sure I would be better at it in Swedish because like that's, there's a terminology about literature in Swedish too that I probably know <laughs> just as little of. Um, but that's just a part of the English language that I haven't really explored that much before. But that's also a part of the reason why I'm even having this channel and making these videos is to um, improve my English speaking skills and improve my vocabulary and sort of keep that um, fresh in my mind because it takes practice to keep a language going in your brain and your mouth and your, <laughs> you know. Question number six, how do you get hold of English books? I would say it's pretty easy to get a hold of books in English in Sweden. There are usually sections in the bookstore with like books in English. Yeah, the selection isn't as big as it would be in an English speaking country. I think that's both good and bad. Um, like we don't have as many options to choose from, but at the same time, we don't have as many options. So the ones that we do have are most likely pretty good. Um, like the popular bestsellers um, and, you know, prize winners and stuff like that. So yeah, there's also a section at the library with English literature. And I think they have a pretty good selection of like the newer books and popular books. And most people seem to be reading in Swedish. So there's not usually a long line um, to get the books in English at the library, which is great. I also find books in English secondhand, like in charity shops. Um, and there are also audiobooks on BookBeat, which is like the a European audiobook app, like service that you have to pay for. And I choose to pay for it because I really enjoy it. Um, there are a few audiobooks in English from the library as well that I can listen to in their app. But those are mostly like classics and Mm, a bit weird books, like not the popular ones. And then of course there's also the option to order them online, so they're pretty easy to get a hold of from um, the biggest like online book seller. I don't think I've ever searched for anything on there that they didn't have, so yeah. It might be a little bit of a delay, but I find that they have most books there. Number seven, what is the best thing about being part of the international community? You can answer in your native language and add subtitles if you want to. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> I have tried filming myself talking Swedish and it's just so, it's just so much more cringe to me. Like I can't, I can't. Like I've kind of gotten used to me speaking English and like seeing myself on video and all of that. <laughs> But I know speaking Swedish on camera is no. <laughs> that's, that's more than I can handle. I mean, the best thing about being part of the international community is, is that, like being part of the international community, and, like talking to people and talking to you. <laughs> um, there are so many people that I would never have 
been able to connect with if I hadn't been doing videos in English because they wouldn't understand what I'm saying and like I would still be able to watch other people's videos and comment on their videos but they wouldn't have the same sense of who I am as a person and I think that when you just see someone commenting like if you don't have a channel and you still want to comment on people's videos absolutely go ahead um, but I think that the connection is on a whole another level when both people are doing videos and like you can see each other and you can hear each other talk and you can get a sense of each other's sense of humor and it's just a lot easier to understand each other I think and get a sense of like when someone might be joking or like <laughs> you know and you can only say so much in a comment like my comments are usually a mile long anyway but just the amount of thoughts that you can fit into a video is just so much more than a comment so yeah, you just get so much more insight into who a person is and what they're like um, when you can watch their videos as well. And so I don't think I would have made the same kinds of connections with people that I feel like I have now um, if I didn't have a channel myself that they could watch and interact with. That just makes it go both ways um, and it's not so one-sided. Like one person is making videos and the other one is only commenting on their videos and it's now it's a little bit more back and forth <laughs> you know what I mean yeah so I think that's my favorite thing question number eight is do you watch other international booktube channels shout out a channel that you've found recently I think this question is a bit hard to answer because anyone who's making videos in English I would consider an international channel I guess I'm just going to shout out a couple of channels that are not from the US, Canada, UK or Australia and still make videos in English. <laughs> First up we have Brindis at Brindis Reads A Lot. She is a booktuber from Iceland and she does book reviews and reading vlogs and projects where she reads like the whole catalog of an author lots of classics and big reading projects so I would highly recommend checking out her channel and then we have Kat at Curious Cat, who is in France she also does the regular booktube content like tags and reading vlogs um, she also has a bit of travel vlogs as well as videos about writing she's been doing the write for life um, course which is similar to the artist's way by the same author um, so if you're interested in writing I would definitely check out her channel next up we have Øystein at Becoming a Bookworm he is in Norway and he also does book reviews and bookish content he has a lot of like themed videos and reflective videos I always find them very thought-provoking and like to engage in the comments on there. <laughs> um, he also has a very sort of typically Scandinavian sarcasm, I would say, <laughs> which I really appreciate. Highly recommend. And then we have Marcella at Marcella and her books, who is the one who wanted to revive this tag in the first place. She's been on booktube for about a year so I have a lot of videos to catch up on but the ones that I have seen I have really enjoyed. Um, I like the way she talks about books and I think we're interested in similar kinds of books so yeah I'm really enjoying her channel. She does a lot of the typical booktube content, um, tags and TBR videos and wrap-ups and yeah, I think she seems like a really nice person and has a really nice personality, so I would highly recommend checking out her channel as well. Next up we have Rana at Rana Najar, who is in Jordan. Um, and this is a channel that I found pretty recently, so I haven't watched a lot of her videos yet, but the ones that I have watched I've really enjoyed. I like the way she talks about books and I like her sense of humor and she seems to be interested in similar books that I want to read. Um, which is always a bonus and she is almost at 5,000 subscribers so head over to her channel and watch a few of her videos and if you like them subscribe to her channel and help her get a little bit closer to that milestone. And here we have Jess at Jess.x. Uh, she is in South Africa. 
she joined booktube four months ago and she doesn't have a lot of videos up yet but they're all really well made <laughs> um, she has such a calm energy and is really enjoyable to listen to and watch and i would highly recommend checking out her channel and then last but not least i have two channels from india the first one is rutvik at the mindless mess this is also a pretty recent find um, and i think he has a really good energy he does vlogs and days in my life and you know a bit more lifestyle content and yeah i think he's fun to watch and he seems like a really sweet person so yeah head over there and see if you like his channel and the other channel from india is sonali at the melodramatic bookworm which is a fantastic channel name i have to say this is also a recent find sonali does a lot of book reviews and reading wrap-ups and reading vlogs book recommendations and she has been on booktube for six years and so there are a lot of videos to watch on her channel and i'm sure that you'll find some that you like <laughs> because there's a great variety um, she has a great sense of humor and really sweet personalities so yeah go check out her channel and see what you think and the last thing is to tag other international booktubers and i know that a few of the ones that i mentioned have already done this tag um, but if you haven't consider yourself tagged and if you weren't mentioned but you are an international booktuber and you are watching this then you are tagged as well <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's it and I hope you're having a fantastic day and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.